Welcome to workout number 16. Today's workout is gonna be a core focused workout. Now our core work is not typically gonna be sit-ups and crunches. We're gonna be doing things to integrate the whole system a lot more. So for today's workout, we have the single leg hip thrust, we have the Copenhagen plank, and then we have a plank variation that are gonna help strengthen your core from the front, the sides, and the back. So for the single leg hip thrust, we're gonna come onto an elevated surface. You can usually use like your couch or something, but I'm gonna be using a workout bench here. So I'm gonna bring the center of my back on to the elevated surface, and this is gonna be my pivot point. So what I don't wanna happen is as I do my hip thrust, my back just kinda of maintain a stationary position as my hips move up and down. I want the pivot point to be my mid back. So my ribs are gonna move with my pelvis. So they're all gonna to move together. So when I'm doing my single leg hip thrust, I can have my arms up on my elevated surface or I can have them wherever is comfortable for me. I'm gonna put weight into one leg and then exhale to extend in the hip. And then I can hold the top for a second and then lower down. I'm gonna to exhale to come on up and then lower down and then I can switch feet. Exhale, come on up, pause. Inhale to lower down. If you find that the single leg variation is a little bit too much, we can do a staggered stance. So I'm gonna come onto this heel, so this is gonna be my support leg. This is still my work leg, and then same setup. Ribs and pelvis staying together. Exhale, push the hips up, inhale down. Exhale to push, inhale down, and then I could switch feet. So coming up onto the heel of this leg for my support. This is my work leg. Exhale, come on up. Inhale to lower down. Now, if you're finding that that's still too much, we can just do a hip thrust variation. So feet are gonna be about hip distance apart, toes slightly pointed out. Exhale, push up, inhale to lower down. So you can choose between those hip thrust variations of which one you wanna do, but I'll be demoing the single leg variation. The next thing that we have up is the Copenhagen plank. So we're going from our back, and now we're coming onto our side. So we're gonna place the top leg onto our elevated surface. You can also do this from a couch. If you don't have an elevated surface that you wanna use or you find the Copenhagen plank to be too much, there's a floor variation that we can do and then we can also do a ball squeeze instead. So starting with the Copenhagen plank on a bench, we're gonna bring the top leg on to the bench. We're gonna extend in the hip so that we have full extension here. And then I wanna avoid kind of rolling forward. So I wanna keep my hips stacked and then I'm gonna bring the bottom knee forward. So I'm thinking drive the knee up towards my chest and then I'm gonna hold here. If I need some rest, I'm just gonna lower this leg down and then bring it back up. So that will be the Copenhagen plank. If we need a floor variation, we can come down to the floor. This bottom leg is gonna be my work leg. So I'm gonna find that same hip position where the hips are stacked and I'm extended in this hip. I'm gonna put weight into this bottom leg and then I can lift the bottom leg up. So this is my support leg, this is just my lifting leg. And if I need to, I can lower the leg down and then lift it back up if I need some more rest. If you find all of those variations to be too much, we can take a Pilates ball or some sort of soft object, place it between the knees, and we can do a sideline hip abduction. So I'm gonna exhale to extend in my hip and squeeze the ball. So I still have inner thigh activation, but it's gonna be more of my glute, my outer glute that's gonna be helping to support this movement. Inhale to sit back. So when I do this movement, I'm not thinking push my hips to the ceiling. I'm thinking push my hips forward. So for the Copenhagen plank, we can place the leg onto the bench. We can place the leg onto the floor, or we can squeeze a ball between the legs to achieve very similar objectives. The final movement that we have is gonna be the plank. And so we're gonna place the feet up onto the elevated surface, and then we're gonna bring one leg forward. So we're gonna come into our plank position, and then I'm gonna drive one knee forward and then hold, and then I'll switch to the other side, and then hold here. So we're gonna hold for the duration of 30 seconds per side. If you find that that is too much for you, you can either keep both feet on the bench as you do the plank, you can come down to the floor to do the plank, we can come into a bear position, or you can just do bear hover. So I can be here, slight hover, and then drop the knees back down, slight hover, and then drop the knees back down. So when you're doing these plank movements, what we're looking for is any sort of coning in the abdomen. So where the center of the abdomen protrudes out a lot further than the rest of the abdominal wall. If we're seeing a lot of coning with exercise or under exertion, it could potentially be damaging that tissue, which can make a diastasis worse, make it harder to heal in the postpartum. And so we do wanna to try to avoid coning under exertion. If you're noticing coning with any of these plank variations, try a bare position and see if that feels better where the knees are stacked underneath the hips. 
If we're still seeing a lot of coning, drop the knees down and do some bear hovering. We do want to minimize the coning in the pregnancy and then into the postpartum period. But if you're not seeing any coning, feel free to advance the movement all the way to the one where the feet are elevated. So for today's workout, we have three rounds, 30 seconds per side of the single leg hip thrust, the Copenhagen plank, choose your variation, and then finishing up with the plank with the knee drive per side. So starting round number one with that single leg hip thrust. Again, if the single leg hip thrust is too much, we can do a staggered stance or you can do trust the hip thrust. So exhale to push the hips up, pause at the top, and then inhale to lower down. Exhale, come on up, inhale to lower down. Focus on keeping that chin tucked as we lift the hips, pivoting on that back. So the back is not maintaining a flat position while the hips drop. The ribs are coming with the hips as well. So this is gonna help protect the core. We don't want too much extension in the spine, especially during pregnancy and that early postpartum. And then we'll switch sides. So you're gonna put weight into that other foot, lift the other leg up. We wanna to try to have a lot of range of motion here. So hips are down towards the floor. Exhale, extend in the hip and pause. Inhale, slow it down. So again, keep that chin tucked, ribs and pelvis are moving together. We're focusing on that glute extending upwards. So exhale, come up, inhale, lower down. Coming into that Copenhagen plank or choose your variation. We can use the bench, do the floor, or you can squeeze the ball between your thighs. So placing that leg onto your elevated surface, exhale to push the hips forward, and then drive that bottom leg forward. So drive it towards the chest and hold. Exhale, just take a deep breath in. Exhale, if you need to, you can drop the bottom leg to give you a little bit of support, and then bring it right back up. And again, if this variation is too much for you, come down to the floor or do the sideline hip abduction with the ball squeeze. So just breathe here. And then switching sides. So facing in that opposite direction, bringing that leg up onto the bench, we're gonna push those hips forward and then bring that bottom leg up. So exhale, inhale, take a breath in, exhale, Really think drive that knee towards the chest. If you need to bring it down for a little bit of rest, come back up. And then again, choose the variation that feels best for you. Like don't do something just because I'm doing it. We don't wanna be in pain as we do this, but the Copenhagen plank is an amazing inner thigh strengthener, which can really support pelvic stability. And now we're coming into our plank variation. So come into your plank. If you find that the plank is too much, we'll do a bare position and then drive the knee to the chest and hold. Big breath in, exhale, switch the feet. Switch the feet, switch. So you'll just alternate between the two feet. Coming back to that single leg hip thrust. So coming onto our back, we have our pivot point on our elevated surface. Exhale, to drive the hips up. Inhale, to lower down. Exhale, come up. Inhale, to lower down. switching feet. So putting weight into the other foot now. Again, we can do our staggered stance. We can do our hip thrust. It doesn't have to be the single leg variation. And then exhale, drive those hips up. Inhale to come down. Think tuck the chin, ribs and pelvis move together.
Moving on to that Copenhagen plank, either knee on the bench, the floor, or a ball squeeze. Choose the variation that feels best for you. So top leg is on the bench, pushing the hips forward, and then drive that knee to the chest and hold. If you need to drop the bottom leg down to give yourself a little bit of support, and then come back up. Focusing on keeping the hips stacked so we don't want to start rolling or sagging in the hip. And then switching sides, facing in the other direction. So choosing the variation that feels best for you. Lift the hips up and drive that knee forward. So the Copenhagen plank is like one of the best inner thigh strike thinners that you can do. And typically a lot of us have weaker inner thighs. And because our inner thighs are not turning on quite as much as maybe our glutes, we may have a pelvic positioning issue which can contribute towards pelvic pain, it can contribute towards pelvic floor issues. And so adding in inner thigh strength thinners can be really beneficial. <laughs> Moving on to our plank variation. Again, if the elevated plank is too much, we can do a bear position where you can just lift the knees up and down. Moving on to our final round, back to our single leg hip thrust. Bringing the middle of the back onto our elevated surface, put weight into one foot. Exhale, drive the hips up. Inhale, slower down. Focus on that pivot point and be in the middle of the back. So we're not just leaving the back on the bench as the hips move freely. They're moving as a single unit. So almost think like your body is one plank or one piece of wood and you're seesawing with it. And then switching legs, so placing weight into the other foot, doing the same variation that you've been doing for the other side. So single leg, stagger, or just hip thrust. So exhale, drive those hips up, inhale, down. Moving on to that Copenhagen plank. So again, either our bench variation, our floor, or squeezing the ball between the thighs. Straightening that hip, drive that other knee forward and hold for the 30 seconds. You need to bring that top leg down. So finding a variation of the Copenhagen plank that works really well for you is so beneficial for pelvic stability and for pelvic floor function both during pregnancy and the postpartum period. Switching sides, so facing in the other direction. The higher the bench is on the leg, the easier it'll be too. So you don't have to do it at the ankle. Exhale, lift that leg up, drive the knee towards your chest and hold. And if you need to drop that top leg down, and then bring it back up. <laughs> Moving on to our plank variation. And again, find the plank variation that does not cause any coning. And if you're not experiencing coding, feel free to advance it.
And that concludes workout number 16 of our monthly movement challenge. If you like this workout, feel free to join our online prenatal and postnatal fitness programs. Our programs are incorporate exercises like these that are safe and friendly for both phases of life. If you like this workout, make sure you like and subscribe so you get notified every time we post a new workout and it's gonna help our channel continue to grow so we can keep giving you free content like this.